Hello everyone. I'm your teacher. Uh, my English name is Samira and my Chinese name is Wang Ruoyu. Welcome to Practical Chinese Course. Today we will learn introduction and this is very first video in which we will learn about uh, important questions regarding Chinese language. My first question is what is Chinese language? China has 56 ethnic groups and more than 90% of population of Han people. There's a, the rest of 55 ethnic majorities like Tibetan, the Uyghur, and the Mongol, etc. Majority in Chinese language uh, used Mandarin, Mandarin, which is official language. We are going to learn. And as we know, uh, there are a lot of dialects in Chinese language, but they, uh, like Urdu, their national language is Mandarin. So, uh, this is Chinese language introduction that we will learn Mandarin. Uh, the first point is characters, like in Chinese language, there are characters and opinions. Both are different. Whenever we talk about character, it means that we are talking about the writing part. Chinese character is a writing system and Chinese opinion is a phonetic system. Uh, basically, the phonetic system is a record pronunciation. If you want to read book, papers you must know Chinese characters or if you want to browse Chinese language if uh, if you cannot uh, uh, for example if you say hello in Chinese so how so how you will write it let's write here uh, in Chinese language, ni character. This is character. So Whenever you browse Chinese sites or whenever there is a written part, you must know characters. But wherever it's about reading part, you must know phonetics. You must know the pronunciation. So you must know the pronunciation of this character. This character means you, ni ni how ni how is in chinese is hello ni how and how to write how in chinese characters This is how in Chinese. If you want to read and you should know pinyin, especially for listening and speaking purpose. Pinyin syllable is a combination of three parts. Initials, one final and a tone. Syllable can also be written without initials. Okay, there are four tones, uh, basically five tones, but the
the fifth one is neutral tone so we uh, sometimes people say only four tones and sometimes say five tones this is the the introduction of characters and pinions and tones okay vowels there are seven vowels or you can say simply finals they are simple finals a o e i u and dotted u in english but it's it's not same as in english it's different for example father in english the word father so the sound of a is a uh, a uh. next is uh, in english we say law so o is o o next word is e in english and the pronunciation in chinese is uh uh a go like english in english a go uh next word is i i uh, in english it's c the sound of c e so in chinese i is e c in english and e in chinese e it's similar like c e the next word is u u and u mood so in english the word mood is a mood is relative you say u u is not u it's u u the next dotted u it's not in uh, that word is not in english it's uh, in french and german letter um so it's uh, like u u a o u e u u i it's it's e y i e u it's w o uh, w u u and dotted u it's y and u u okay it's already there like this i is y and i e e this u is pronounced as u u and this dotted u is pronounced So these are vowels. O, O, U, E, U, U. Same as father, law, ago, C, U, and U. Father, Fa, A. law o ago u c e mood u y okay if we write a tone on a vowel like a 
pull, pull, five. First tone is neutral tone. The second tone is rising tone. The third tone is curved tone, and the fourth tone is flat, uh, falling tone. and the fourth tone is neutral so here basically five tones flat tone this is rising tone the second one is rising tone sorry it's like uh, it's like that rising tone rising tone the third one is curved tone the fourth one is falling tone and the fifth one is neutral okay if there is a, a flat tone how to pronounce it uh if there is a rising tone uh if there is a third tone curved tone uh if there is a falling tone Uh, and if neutral, uh, simple. Uh, 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 uh. Read after me. Uh, 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 uh. uh. And the uh, neutral tone is O. Uh. Okay, let's go to the initial. Let's talk about initial consonants. The first one is po, po. It's like p in English. The next word is po. It's like p h in English. P H O O the pronunciation of B is O same like P in English. Okay, the pronunciation is M. Ah, uh, the pronunciation of pronunciation of M is Mo Mo. The pronunciation of F is Four, four. The pronunciation of D is same as T. Two, two. The pronunciation of T is T H. Two, two. The pronunciation of N is N, N. The pronunciation of L is L, L. Okay. The pronunciation of G is wait. The pronunciation of G is K, 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 O, O. Mo, fo, te, te, ne, le, ke. Okay, the pronunciation of K is ke, ke, ke. Ah, in Urdu it's K, ke. The pronunciation of H is 
so so pronunciation of h is so so okay the pronunciation of j is g t sorry that's wrong the pronunciation of g is g The pronunciation of Q is chi. It's chi. The pronunciation of X is she. She. Pronunciation of ZH is chir. The pronunciation of CH is CH CH or C H I CH The pronunciation of S H is sure. It's sure. R. The pronunciation of Z is Z. Z. The pronunciation of C is Z. Z is a combination of Z and D. Z. C is a combination of C and T. Z. S. S. Y is E. And W is U. E. U. Y is same as. E and it's same as U. U E. Let's start again. O Po Mu Fo Tu Tu Nu. L, K, 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 G, Q, 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 Lecture one. Uh, the first word is hello. How to say it in Chinese? With uh, this is character and this is pinyin. So you know this is the character of ni hao, hello. But how to uh, pronounce it? You must know the pinyin. Ni hao, ni hao. 
there is a rule if there is a rule if there is two tones one second okay if there is two tones like curve two curve tones so first will convert into rising tone and the other one remains the same so in the case of ni hao i this i contains third tones and this a contains third tone basically this is not i and this is not a it's e and it's a in chinese so uh, wherever two tones are uh, curved tones are together you must convert it the first tone in rising tone and the other one in curved tone so ni hao is wrong the correct one is ni hao ni hao hello ni hao okay the next word is ni if you use a single ni without any other without how so it means you if you use ni how all together it means hello so n i with third tone ni means you the next word is how if you use how individually it means good but if you use it with ni it means ni how that means hello but individually it means you and how means good the next word is wo wo means i me wo i whenever you say i you say in chinese wo the next word is basically these are new words new vocabulary words uh, for conversation ye ye also to fun okay fun very the next word is ni hao ni hao yes the next word is not ni hao it's ni ne there is ni and the ne word basically ne is a question type particle wherever there is a ne it means a uh, question but in suspicious way like in suspecting uh, someone so ni ne what about you ni no we will talk about uh, ni in the later class in the later classes okay ni no what about you next word is ma question word ma ni no ma next word is xie xie e has fourth tone xie xie so its pronunciation is a bit strict she she let's start let's uh, start again new words ni hao hello ni you how good wo i and me or me ye khan ni no ma she she ni hao hello ni hao this is a uh, conversational uh, sentences dialogues a says ni hao hello b says ni hao hello a says ni hao ma ni hao ma how are you wo khan hao i am good ni na 
आई एम गुड नीना आई एम गुड नीना सो वेट Wohan how Nina I am good Uh what about you Wo yehan how I am fine too Wo yehan how I am fine too Ye means also too Share, share. Thank you. Okay, let's start again the conversation. Ni hao, ni hao, ni hao ma. How are you? Wo hen hao, ni na. I'm good. What about you? Wo ye hen hao. I'm also fine. Share, share. Thank you. Okay, this is the basic conversation. Uh, basic vocabulary words and simple dialogues let's talk about the the next lesson oh it's a bit uh, uh, difficult from the previous one so we will learn it in the next lesson okay bye bye